What is up, Cravers? Today, guess what we're doing? We're working on those turkey legs that I promised you at 100 subscribers, and now I'm almost at 200. That's right, it's hard finding this stuff in the store, everything that you need right now, so bear with me. But we're gonna be brining those turkey legs today. stars of the show six turkey legs I'm gonna hold a camera in my hand so I can go through this pretty quickly what you're gonna need cloves peppercorns one bay leaf cinnamon stick brown sugar an orange some pink Himalayan salt and some coarse sea salt Let's get it. All right, pay close attention. Get your biggest pot out that you can find that a gallon of water will fit in because you're gonna start off with two quarts of water. That's not quite two quarts. Let me put a little bit more in there. So, you were, I know you were noticing that I got the coarse sea salt and I had a pink Himalayan salt. You're like, Carlos, you don't normally use salt. Well, guess what? The only way that smoked stuff tastes smoked and tastes, well, not smoked stuff, but the uh, turkey legs get that ham taste to it is by curing it with salt. The salt that we're gonna put in here today is actually gonna get washed off the day that we get ready to cook it. You're gonna wash those turkey legs completely off, get all the salt off. This is just to cure them. So you're gonna put three fourth cups of this um, coarse sea salt in there. Three fourths of a cup. You're gonna put a fourth a cup of pink Himalayan salt in there. And if you look up pink Himalayan salt, it has very healthy benefits for people. And I'll leave you some descriptions in the box like I always do. You'll get a chance to see it on the screen. All right, a fourth a cup of that pink Himalayan salt. We got our stove turned up all the way so it can start boiling. You're gonna take two of your cinnamon sticks. And if I'm going too fast, don't worry. I'm going to leave you the recipe um, at the end. I'm going to take two of your cinnamon sticks. Throw them in there. All right. Dropping stuff. Don't worry about it. I'll clean that off. All right. So now you're going to take, well, that's half of a bay leaf. The other end broke off. So we're going to put a whole bay leaf in there or either a bay leaf and a half. Whatever I can grab out of this little thing. There's a little piece of one. So that little piece of one and that half one that I broke that makes a whole bay leaf one bay leaf don't go crazy with the bay leaf you don't want it to be really strong all right peppercorns you're gonna put eight to ten of them in there drop them in cloves you're gonna put eight to ten of them in there got these little ziploc bags so that they can stay strong I normally put them in a jar they'll be really strong in eight to ten of them Drop them in. I'll say that brown sugar for last because I got to dig it out of there. So then you're going to take your orange. You don't have to go find the sweetest orange in the store. Peel that sucker and throw the peels over in there. Don't be alarmed if you get some orange off of, on there. It's fine. Eat the orange. You just want the peels in there. It's good for you. You need the vitamin C. All right, throw that in there. Well, Carlos, I don't like oranges. Well, throw it in the garbage if you don't like oranges, unless you got somebody else in the house that do. Let's see. All right, get all that out of there. Even that little cork piece that's stuck in the orange, throw that in there. Set that orange off to the side. Now, I'm gonna dig out this 
brown sugar. You're gonna put like two cups of brown sugar in there, which is gonna be almost this whole jar just about. So let me get a spoon that's big enough. Scoop that out. Two cups of brown sugar. This is what's gonna give it the caramelized look and the wonderful taste. Come on, let's get that brown sugar out of there. I'm throwing water everywhere. All right, just a little bit more. There we go, all right. Get all that stirred up. And you're gonna bring it to a boil. At this time, whatever container that you have that um, holds two quarts, fill that container up full of ice and then put water in there with it because you're gonna shock chill this brine. That's what it's called, shock chill. So next, I like to take like four or five of these bamboo sticks. You can take a fork. Don't use a knife because you don't want to stab these and just poke holes. If it flips, that's a bonus. Didn't even have to do it with my hand. Look at that. It's magic. Anyway, get those bad boys poked. Listen to me. This ain't no He-Man player hating type stuff, man. I'm just telling you. If you're a married man at this time, clean the kitchen up behind yourself while you're waiting on that stuff to get done boiling. And while you're about to start on these turkey legs, you don't want your wife to come down here and bust you upside the head. Clean up, man. We can do it, too. There's a lot going on right now. There's a lot of stress on these women. So let's help them get these houses clean and keep them clean. That's all I got to say. Thank you. All right, Cravers and Seasoning Gang. You can see all that steam jumping off that pot. Give it a nice little stir. It's nice and hot. Nice and hot. It should smell like some of Grandma's tea back when you were sick. She was trying to get you well. Now you want to take your two quarts. Well, no, hold on. First, move going too, too far, getting ahead of myself. Turn the stove off first. Now you want to take your two quarts with the uh, ice in it. Dump it in there. Be careful, don't scald yourself. Okay, move that to the side. Stir that ice in. It's going to cool it off. Take this and pour it over this. Fill it up to about right there, just until it comes up above it. You don't want to spill it inside your refrigerator. But make sure you scoop out all your goodies. Like get you a strainer or something and get your um, orange peels, cinnamon sticks, bay leaves, peppercorns and stuff out of there. And you see how much brine I have in there? You just wanted to cover them. And after the first day, reach down in and flip your turkey legs over so you can make sure each part of the turkey leg is getting soaked, you know, so it's not like a suction cup against the other piece of turkey. Anyway, thanks for watching.